Hello guys and welcome to this Coherent UI tutorial. What we're going to cover in this video is how to add the Coherent UI GT plugin into a project and create two types of UI elements, a HUD and an in-world UI view. Now first off what I have here is the recent version of the plugin along with Unreal Engine 4.7.3. So let's go ahead and install the plugin first. Now you can select any, any Unreal Engine versions that you have in your machine uh, the only one I have right now is the binary one, so I'm just going to go ahead and click next. Um, here you can select the destination folder for the sample project that comes along with the uh, plugin. So I'm just going to go ahead and click install. Now what this is telling you is that Green UI GT uh, requires the, uh, an, an engine from source, but this late, latest version uh, actually you can use with the binary one without having to move anything after the installation to make it work. So just go ahead and click yes. Alright, now we're done. Uh, okay, now we start Apex Game Launcher. Alright, so what we need to do is create a new empty project. We we'll just go ahead and click on blank uh, or well, in the blueprint tab. And here you can select the uh, destination folder for that project, uh, as you already know. Uh, just go ahead and choose another folder. Okay, this is fine. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Alright, now that the editor is up, what we need to do first is enable the plugin. So we go to Window, Plugins, we go to User Interface, and there you have it, Coherent UI GT plugin. What we need to do is tick it. Now it may require for you to restart the editor, so we go ahead and do that. Alright, now that we have everything set up and the plugin enabled, what we need are the uh, resources for the uh, interface itself. So in this video we're not going to cover the actual creation of the of the UI, but we're going to rather use the already available resources we have in the uh, sample project that come along with the plugin. So just go ahead and stop the editor. Alright, now what we're going to do is go to the um, project uh, to the folder that we chose for the sample project and go into content and this folder UI resources we're going to copy that now you go into the um, folder that we chose for the Unreal project we go into content and just paste it here alright now we're going to launch the editor again Alright, now that we have the plugin enabled and the UI resources in place, what we're going to do is create a new level. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the default one. Alright, now that we have that up, I'm um, just going to double click on it to pop up the world settings. Now what we're going to do is create a new game mode. So we go ahead and click on the plus here, that creates a new blueprint. And I'm going to name it my game mode. Alright, now what we need to do is go to Edit, Project Settings, Maps and Modes, go to the default modes and the default game mode, and just choose it, the one that we just created, my game mode. Alright, so what we're going to do now is add a HUD to our game. Now I'm going to make use of the um, recently implemented uh, coherent menu. Uh, which uh, allows for quick access to some of the uh, plugin features like the one we're going to use now. Uh, what we're going to do is click on Add HUD 
and this will change the um, current game modes HUD class to um, GT Game HUD BP and it will initialize it. Also, uh, it will add an empty HTML page to your UI resources folder and it is just a simple HTML page that has nothing in it apart from the uh, Uhunio IGT HUD text here. So you can go ahead and close that. Now we're going to open up the HUD blueprint. Um, you can either do that from the blueprints tab over here or from the content browser. I'm just going to go ahead and double click that. It's going to open up the HUD blueprint. Uh, now we're not actually going to gain too much detail about the uh, elements we've got. Um, all you need to know for this video uh, is that you need to change the page URL which is actually referencing the HTML page that was just created when we clicked on add HUD. So uh, this scheme called UI is actually the reference uh, to the uh, content folder in the uh, in the project. So all you need to specify after that are the are any um, subfolders and the actual HTML page that you're going to use for the UI. So what we're going to do now is change that to main UI, which is an HTML page um, in the UI resources folder that we copied from our sample project. So let's go ahead and close the blueprint and see what's going to happen when we press play. Alright, now we have a UI popping up. Now all these elements are in the main UI uh, HTML page that we've just referenced. Uh, what you could actually do is put your own um, page uh, in the UI resources. Uh, all you need to do is make sure that the page URL is uh, properly pointing to it. But for, for this for this video, I'm just going to use this one as it's already uh, set up. All right, now go ahead and close that. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, we're going to have an in-world UI view as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go to the coherent GT menu again and click on the add in world UI. This is going to add a GT plane to our scene. So what we need to do now is uh, edit uh, the, this plane's blueprint. Uh, so we're going to click on edit GT plane and it's going to open up the blueprint. So uh, we are going to delete these elements as we're actually going to set this up manually. Uh, we only need a few things to make this work. So let's go ahead and create a coherent UI GT reference. Alright, this is it. And let's draw a line from it and create a set URL node. And there's one more thing we need is the event begin play. Okay. Now what we need to specify is the URL which points to the uh, HTML page that we're going to use. Now for this one, I've chosen one of our sample pages that we have in the UI resources folder. So go ahead to the Unreal Project folder that you have, go to content, UI resources, and I'm going to go to uh, CUI frameworks, coherent, animation, samples, uh, I chose this one, Edge. So just go ahead and uh, copy the uh, file path. And the uh, make note of the uh, the name of the HTML page, it's called index. So we're going to use the UI scheme again. I just change the backslashes. and the HTML page itself. Now as I mentioned earlier, you can have your own HTML page. Just make sure you place it in the URI resources folder and you have the URL set up properly. So let's go ahead and close the blueprint and press play, see what happens. All right, now we have the UI coming up again, but we have one more element here that we just placed on the GT plane. 
So that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys. Um, stay tuned to the channel for more videos and if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below.